All right, if you're using Google Sheets and you have a table of data, like the one that we have right here, and you have duplicates in the data. So there's some duplicates here. And if you come down, there's another pair of duplicates. So they don't necessarily have to be in order, but for this video, it's a little bit easier to visualize what we're going to do. They're grouped together like this. So if you're facing this problem, your table of data is probably hundreds or thousands of lines long and it may have three duplicates or it may have 500 duplicates. So the first thing that we're going to do is analyze the table that we're looking at. So we will select it first and we'll go up to the menus. And if you click on data, there is a built-in data cleanup function and it has removed duplicates, but this has very few options. It can't do what we're going to show you. So we're going to skip that and we'll go to the add-on that I've already installed. It's called Remove Duplicates, pretty good name. And we're going to use the sub function called Find Duplicates or Unique Rows. If you look in the description of the video, there'll be a link that will bring you to the add-on. It will give you a discounted price. And if you use that link, it'll help to support my channel. So we'll click on Find Duplicate or Unique Rows. And a window comes up, it's ready to go. And because I already selected the table of data, it's smart enough to have pre-filled that here. If you're feeling a little nervous, you can create a backup copy of the sheet. I'm gonna say we don't wanna do that in this instance. And now you come to this screen where it gives you four different options. So you can choose what we're going to be working with here. So if you just say duplicates, it will find the repeats. So it will find what is showing in row eight here in row nine. And then when you come down the other duplicate, it'll pick up what's showing in row 20, or you could choose, and we'll just do this to show it, the duplicates and the first occurrence. So in this case, the first occurrence is in row seven, and then it will also pick eight and nine. If you wanted to find only the data that wasn't duplicated, you could come down here and select the unique values. So we'll click next. The table does have headers, so it's going to identify those in the first column over here on the left. They're all the same case. If they weren't, and you still considered them to be duplicates no matter what the case was, you could check match case. In our case, that's not going to make any difference because they're all the same. So we'll click through, we'll say next. And this next screen is really the heart of the add-on. And we'll show you the different options here. And this is where the flexibility comes in where it's not just going to go in and delete your data. You can do that, but there's other things that we can do first. If you just want to see what's duplicated, you can just fill it with a color. So that would be applying a background fill to the relevant cells. You can select whatever color you want. Let's say we like yellow. If we pick finish, then it will come through and highlight all the duplicates and the first instances of the duplicates because that's what we said in the beginning. And then you could do something like right click on here and create a filter. And Google Sheets allows you to filter by color, right? And you could just look at those and deal with those if you wanted to. Take that filter off because we're gonna show you some other things. We'll take the highlighting off too. But before we move on to the other features, this is a good time to notice that there is an option to save these scenarios. So let's check that out. You get a chance to name it, set a few configuration options, and then save it. And then next time that you want to run the scenario, you can pick that and skip all of the steps in between. The next option, instead of filling it with color, we can add a status column. It goes to the right of the table, doesn't impact any of the data. And once it writes out this new column, then you can look at it and decide what to do. Matter of fact, we'll delete it right now because we're gonna show you the next thing. We'll start over. You could copy the values to another location, so that will keep them here, but also copy them. Put it anywhere you want because maybe you want to leave the duplicates in the list. You don't want any formatting, but you want to do something about them later. This will take care of that. You can also move them. So instead of copying them, it does remove them from the list and put them in this other place. You could just delete them without removing the rows. So that will just make blank cells. We'll do that one. All right. You may want that. You never know the options there. And then the last two options, Delete rows within the selection is what the built-in tool will do for Google Sheets. So it will just delete, let's say here, uh, B7, 
through D9 and B19 through B20. And if you have any other data here, it will leave it intact and it will not move it. But if you do want it to be moved, you can delete the entire rows from the sheet. So if you have other data that you want to keep in sync with this, that you're not checking for duplicates, it will also delete the data in those columns. Use that link in the description if you want to install this, play around, and also see what any of these other options do. Thanks for watching. It's nice to have you along.